James Clapper now claims the Russians swung the 2016 presidential election for Donald Trump. The former Obama intel chief's supposed bombshell comment contradicting the, uh, the view of the entire intelligence community's formal assessment released after they thoroughly investigated the matter last year. And joining us now, former FBI assistant director, great American and uh, terrific, terrific uh, friend of this broadcast. Good to see you, James. James nice, Galstrom. Nice to be here, Lou. Let's, uh, uh, I, I mean, I can't even believe it's, it's the unre nonsense. It's unreal. From yeah. the former NDI. Yeah. Uh, does he forget what his testimony was before the Congress? <laughs> I, I, I guess he does. And I don't think it matters to him one whit whether he's called yeah. it a lie or not. Yeah, the man needs some psychiatric help. And, and what about James Comey? And Comey is, uh, you know, we've been talking about, at least I have, among others, for about a year and a half now on Comey. Mm -hmm. And he, he's the guy with the biggest attitude <laughs> and the biggest, uh, he puts himself on this huge pedestal. The ego is just unbelievable. Yet, he has no common sense. And, and, you know, to think that he could pull off this whitewash of a fraudulent investigation on Hillary Clinton, when the president of Obama himself on at least two occasions said, there's no evidence against her. She's, right. she's done nothing wrong. I mean, you'd have to be a moron not to, not to know that that was just a phony thing from the very beginning. Yeah, not to right. understand the dog whistle from the president of the United States about his former secretary of state. He couldn't have been clear. I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, and... And for the most obvious, I think the most obvious pay-for-play scandal in this country's history is the Clinton Foundation. And for the FBI to permit yeah. itself to conclude that they're not going to have an investigation, then try to sell the nonsense that, don't worry, we got it under control out in the Little Rock Bureau. Well, it wasn't the FBI. The FBI wasn't investigating the Clinton Foundation. I've called it, you know, a, a bigger RICO case than the Mafia, right. quite frankly. You know, more sophisticated, more money involved. You know, and it wasn't that the FBI agents didn't want to investigate it. It's, you know, these five or six or 12 or 15 or 20 or whoever with this number of sycophants in Washington. I'm that going to be a much larger you know, than we Maybe it's assume. 50, but I'll yeah. tell you right now, Lou, it's not the thousands of, of agents that are out there. That are, I hear from tons and tons of these people. They are so upset about what is going on. You know, and some of your guests on the show, who I think uh, I, I respect, you know, have talked about turning over the FBI to the Marshal Service. I think that's really a crazy idea. Everyone has their own idea, but that is not anything that should ever happen. We need new leadership. Yeah. We need discipline. We need to get rid of the top-ranking people in there right now what, what I th I'm, I'm, and bring a leader in there that can motivate and discipline the agency. That's what needs to happen. I, 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 here's what I think, and I'd like to get your judgment about the future of the FBI as right. an institution. Yes. Uh, I personally believe it depends on how many agents step forward and say, uh, under subpoena, what truly happened. If there isn't that residual within the rank and file of the FBI, I think that the institution is doomed. Uh, and, and by the way, I, I've got I'm sitting here with the greatest yeah. respect and affection for you. I have to say that if they don't step up here, that they deserve that institution to be absolutely swept aside. Well, I believe the vast majority of those that have knowledge, that have right. a reason to step forward, other than right. that's what, I mean. what they see on television every day. Yeah. And that's a small number, because Comey and those other sycophants brought that investigation and those other investigations close hold. You know, the agents themselves in the field offices, it was all taken away. I mean, they called up the New York office and shut down the Clinton Foundation investigation. Right. They, they shut it down in Little Rock. It's not the agents that are out there. It's this group of people that, that, that perpetrated this fraud on, on the country and thought they could get away with it. I mean, it's just like, it's beyond, unbelievable what we're doing to a fine institution. I spent half my, you know, most of my adult life there. You know, I know, it's, I know what people go to work for every day there in the yeah. FBI. Well, you know, and it's a shame that this has happened, that we put a series of bad leadership, and I'll include Bob Mueller in that. Absolutely. I mean, Mueller uh, uh, and... And Comey was and a disaster. Comey, both working in the high, most highly politicized administration. They politicized the Justice Department, the FBI, the Internal Revenue Service. The list goes on. Obama... There's no part Obama, of that government they didn't o politicize. O Obama politicized the entire government. Yeah. 
you know, and he filled it with sycophants and the people who succumbed to the Stockholm syndrome. And I mean, it's just a tragedy what went on, you know, and, and guys like Brennan and Clapper and Comey. How did we yeah. ever create? How could they? John ever? Brennan. I mean, what a These, this horrible. This is a man who exudes evil. Yeah. I mean, you, all you have to do yeah. is watch the man. I know him. <laughs> I can tell you that's a good uh, that's a good feeling on your part because he's a he's a really a psychopath that guy, you know. And and all his rantings and ravings and threatening people, you know, it, we got to clean this Including thing out. Including the president of the United Including States. Including the president of the United States. And here we've got the deputy attorney general threatening people. I mean, what is this? Yeah. This here's a guy who signed one of the renewals on the on the fraudulent Pfizer application. I mean, what is going on here? And today we, we don't even know whether the gang of eight, the, the heads of the House Intelligence and Oversight Committees, actually got to see the documents of origin uh, leading to the special counsel. We don't, we don't know whether they were just briefed about it or were they right, patted, who knows? On the, patted on the head. And I mean, this conspiracy has been working for a long, long time. Yeah. You know, and this getting Donald Trump, whenever there was an inkling that he was going to win this thing, you know, there was a there was a fifth column, a strong fifth column. That, and they're still there today. They're still there today. I keep saying to folks, uh, and I will continue to say to folks, you know, it's not just that this president has had the guts and the intelligence to drive this. But to imagine what he withstands every day yeah. and has had to withstand from from the moment he ran for this. Yeah. For this I've known him for 43 years. And, and the, for him to stand up yeah. like he has, yeah. this country and he's never, great... he's never not going to stand up, oh. no matter what happens with these fools. I, I, uh, I believe that wholeheartedly. Yeah, Jim, it's great to see you, and uh, God bless you, Lou Dobbs. God bless you, James Collister. Thanks for being here.